Hey everyone, Brian here. <laughs> I know I took a bit of a hiatus for a little bit. Last time we probably all saw each other was uh, probably around like May. Probably uh, maybe even first week of June. You know, I've been very busy. Um, if you pay attention to everything I've said, you know, everything was pretty much spot on. You know, people are saying, oh, do we sell in May and go away? You know, if you stayed the course, you went long, you did phenomenal. Look at this, the market hit all time highs, you know, so I knew it was going to be a great summer. So hopefully everyone took advantage of all positions and everything. And, um, yeah, and I'm doing this a little midday right now. What time is it? About 2.25. It's uh, September. How time has flown, right? So it's been a great summer, though. So I hope everyone had some great opportunities this summer, took advantage, made money in the market. Went out, went to the beach, did your workouts. I know gyms are mostly closed in New York. I expanded my gym. I've got more involved in mining. I actually, uh, in the business right now, I'm uh, going to be maybe taking over another business. So, got a lot of good things going on right now. And uh, so that's just why I've been busy. So I didn't really get too involved with, um, you know, the videos. So... James, I read your email too. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, you know, this one's for you and everybody else who's still following. If there's many, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't even look at the YouTube channel. I figured I'd just kick this out there, get it out there. And, uh, you know, really because I saw some chaos in the markets again. So, I figured, hey, why not? You know, we did well. Markets came down last time. I made some videos. Market did very well over the summer. You know, guidance was great. Just paid attention, stayed the course. Now you're getting rocked a little bit. You know, I see uh, Dave Portnay's on. You know, CNBC always chatting with Jim Cramer. Oh, yeah, you know, Mark stocks always go up, 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 and they never go down, down. You know, it's like, dude, you know, this is what happens with some of these millennials, you know. They, they never experienced bear markets. I mean, I, did he not see what happened in the 2008 and 9? Well, 9, you know, that whole uh, housing collapse and then the financial collapse. You know, I don't know what these people remember and what they experienced, you know. Was he around in 2000, the whole dot-com bubble? You know, I was there for that, trading. So, you know, when people say markets don't go down, they don't go down, you know, don't believe that either. You know, that's false. Uh, I don't know why he would say markets don't go down, you know. Yeah, you had a good run right now. Markets were lows, you bought it at a good time. And, you know, now for people who bought at 29, I guess, um, where's the market at right now? Got the Dow, okay, yeah, so, you know, those who bought really high up, you know, this is today, but, uh, let's go one month, you know, let's pull that back a little bit and let's take a look, you know, so, yeah, you know, you're coming down, what does this have up, oh, just today, so let's go about one month. You know, so to say people don't, you know, so people probably got involved here, you know, if you bought, boom, 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 got a little comeback, boom, another leg down, good, healthy. You know, and this is what I want to see, you know, this is typical in the market. You know, yeah, the market get extremely bullish. Here, let me go back three months to our last visit. <laughs> you know, like we last spoke, you know, Dow's probably like around here, three months, you know, you want to go back six months, you know, when these videos started coming out, you know. Um... Yes, I mean, it's just been beautiful. You know, let's go. Yeah, so right here is probably like our last video right around here. And then, you know, it's just kind of been good, steady. You know, look at that. You know, so you got to expect some retracements. You know, I know you guys might not like where I think the market could go, you know. But overall, right now, I don't know. Yes, true retracements is happening right here. You see, these are going to be your candlesticks. You know, I know people want to fill some gaps, you know, probably fill this right here. Here. You know, and you could, you know, for all the technical, the people like to follow the charts or uh, the people who are more into momentum, you know, if you look at the programs, the algorithms, they're stepping in right now and they're starting to put money to work again because, you know, with the fourth quarter's coming up, Santa Claus rally, they may sell off into it, but, you know, they're going to rally it. You know, yes, you have the elections. That's the only thing I see rattling the markets a little bit if you have a changing of the gods. No changing of the guards. You have the, what's you got right now? You're looking at a Dow over 30,000, you know? If you have a changing of the gods, people are going to probably maybe uh, sell off. There's going to be some new tax laws. It's not going to be probably favorable to the financial markets and companies. Uh, so it'll just be a rebalancing of portfolio. So you have to see. But the leaders are going to be the leaders, and they're going to keep going higher, you know? So regardless of what happens, they're still going to make money. So, you know, I see the market's doing okay right now. You know, like I say, unless you get real policy change on a administration change, 
you know, that's what's going to rattle the markets and that's what's going to knock us down. You know, but if you have what you have now, I think the markets are going to do what they've been doing, you know, and they're going to just go. You know, it's going to be business friendly. It's going to be building in, uh, you know, the U.S. economy, building that up. You know, we're pro-energy, we're pro-oil, we're pro-everything, you know, so it's good. It's a good time to be here. So, you know, looking at these dips in the market, let's look past five days because here's where people are probably like, whoa, you know. Daily now, I want to see. Daily, could we go anything shorter than this? Mm, Alright. Ten days. It's right there. So, you know, not bad. You know, and everyone following Bitcoin, you know, I mean, Bitcoin had a nice move, you know, it went up to 12. You know, you didn't get that big move you want, then Bitcoin ended up uh, coming back down. So, let's see, I mean, I've been trading a lot of stuff, AMD, I think I called that out on my last video, you know, like, uh, pointing, it almost got to 100. So, what I ended up doing with that one was, uh, you know, I, I was neutral. Once it broke 60... That's when I got long, you know, I started getting long it again, it, I know it whipped around, round, then it went straight up. I knew once it broke that level, it was going to new highs, went to 90. I kind of scalped some out a little bit before that, because I sold out of the market on um, Monday. So on Monday, I was liquid, so the stock market ran an extra two days. So I missed that extra push to the 29. But then now, we came back the next two days, and I've been a buyer, so on Friday I was buying, I bought, I, I did do some buying. Um, what did I buy? Uh, let's see, um, I got an AMD now, yeah, I do like it here at the 79 range. What did I buy? I was looking at uh, Big Commerce, didn't get in that, I was gonna nibble on some Beyond Meats, didn't do that. I am in Chegg again, I'm right in here, you know, I got in some good prices, so I'm probably right here a little lower. Chewy, got involved in this, probably a little lower than this, I wanna say maybe 59, 58, we'll see. Um, Datadog, I have this one. DraftKings, got this one. Got this one, Diamond Peak. It's an acquisition company. Been doing good. I've been playing some of those over the summer. Um, Etsy, I was eyeing. Didn't really get involved um, yet, but I am watching it. But, you know, I seem to move in overstock. You know, an overstock just went from like the 115, 120 range all the way down to 64. So, I don't know if Etsy's going to be getting that same fate. So, uh, I know it got added to the S&P, so I'd rather just wait and see, and, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. This one, not in. FMCI, yes, I am in that. That's Tattoo Chef. I think that's good. i um, been following a crew over the summer over on, what is it, Stock Twits or something like that. You know, it's a crew. You know, followed some of them. A lot of them are promoters. You know, I guess they bought a lot of this crap, and then they're promoting it to other people. But, you know, hey, more power to them. You know, you got to do your own research, due diligence, you know. Uh, graph, this is a good one. I like it. I am in that now. Uh, grow generation. I am in this, but this on uh, dip Friday. Uh, let's see. This home had a nice sell off, you know, but, you know, I'll see what happens. But, you know, not bad to go in with money there. Uh, alright. This one's good, you know, kind of like a DraftKings, I guess. Casinos, betting. Uh, so pretty good. He's always on CNBC, the CEO, Tillman. Uh, Chinese. I'm in more NIO. I recently bought that too. So I'm in right around here. 17, maybe a little higher. Pretty good. Nicola, beautiful run. I did trade this over the summer pre uh, that merger. So it did well there. OPES. This is going to be Burgify. Beautiful. Got some warrants in that. Overstock. Uh, Peloton. I'm in Peloton. I bought some of that on Friday. Beautiful day there. Looking good. Rocket. I like Rocket. Uh, rack space that's good at the right price um, coming down so uh, this one's pretty good uh, eh, a little gamble right here we'll see I bought some of this too real cheap maybe like on fr uh, not Friday but Thursday so I got some of this at like 120 um, this I'm up I bought some of this I trade this a few times now I bought it pre merger of Fisker so Fisker competes with a Tesla so uh, that's where we are there um, yeah, Virgin Galactic, we'll see. Square, beautiful, I love it. I uh, have that. Uh, Tesla, yeah, that a beautiful run. I got involved in this a little bit 
before the merger, probably around 1800 Traded it up to two, you know, I guess I got in Tesla late. I was busy trading other things, doing other things. Oots, Uts brands, you know, I'm in this right now. That's good buy. Moving higher, workhorse, traded this a few times. Not in it right now. So, you know, that's just my watch list. Just sharing that with everybody. Just so you could kind of see what I've been uh, doing this summer. This summer. So, uh, that's been mostly what I've been going in and out of. Shorting, long, playing... And overall been long though like i say bulls and bears make money pigs you know you get slaughtered so you know i wish i was in like nicola right now i'm not <laughs> you know but i did trade this a few times so i had beautiful gains seen like that but beautiful day peloton i'm thankful 12 percent good uh this one no i'm not am i in this one? No, i'm not in show right now beautiful move but you know i got more uh the fisker now you know i bought that on the cheap so uh that's where i'll be if you have any questions, you know, I don't know who follows anymore. I, I know it's somewhere up around 290 to 300. Maybe it's down 100, whatever. I guess I'll check when I upload the video. So it's 236. Um, I don't know. I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll just see real quick. I know we used to go into these. Look at the European markets. Um, I guess Asia. You know, they did okay. Here's your currencies. And here's your crypto. So there's Bitcoin, you know, you got it right around there, 10, Ethereum, you know, uh, Link, uh, that has done phenomenal, I, I dumped a lot of Link at like 17 and 16, oh man, those were beautiful chain links, again, thank you, <laughs> so if anyone uh, did some of that, H bar had a little run, that's back down, nothing great, uh, Beam, beautiful run, this is wild, this yearn finance. I've been playing, well, not playing. I, I did a quick trade on this a while ago. It ran. I just, it was dumb. It was dumb luck. You know, I didn't even have a full coin, though. I wish I did because I had a nice move. And, um, you know, then it spun off. So I gave some back. I made some. Then I gave some back. I went in a few times on uh, Sushi Swap. That's another new one. It's speculative. Don't play these guys. But, um, where is it? There's DFI. Yeah, right here. So, yeah, I might have lost like a thousand points on that. But I guess I didn't really have a coin. But I made two going up. So, at the end of the day, I pretty much broke even on this one. And I made money on, uh, this hype right here. So, not bad. So, um, you know, these are... Bitcoin, like I said, is correlated with the market, you know, so it's going to do whatever the market does, you know, so don't expect it to go and do something dramatic and run to, like, new all-time highs. You know, what I found a little bearish with Bitcoin is it got to 12,000, and it didn't get any higher than that, and then it kind of came back down to 10,000, you know, with the markets, you know, but it didn't get to, like, 20,000, right? You know, you have all those promoters, you know, I haven't been following any of them. I've been kind of busy, like I said, this summer. I probably gotta go check out Pomp and all those guys, because over the summers, Bitcoin is 12. They're probably telling everybody, oh, buy it, buy it. We're going up, oh, this Tillman now is on CNBC talking, you know, so that's the um, LGA, LCA, sorry, uh, casino, check that one out. Um, where were we? Yeah, so Bitcoin, you know, and, you know, went under 10,000. Don't know, you know, you, know, you could trade it here, I think, if the markets, you know, I do think the markets are going higher right now, you know, I know they say September is spooking you, but don't be spooked, you know, you like your positions, here's where you average down, okay, and look at me, I'm making money today, you know, so I'm fine, if people shorted, you're making money today, I wish I took shorts, you know, I knew the market was high, I was singing cash, and then I didn't, I, sh I should have just shorted, I, I knew, like AMD, I knew certain ones were just high, you know, they, they were going to come down, and I knew that feel good feeling that like um, Dave and all these guys feel, you know, you can be bullish, but it's okay to take chips off the table, like now, this is a beautiful correction, not correction, but, you know, just a beautiful retracement, that's it, you know, you're down a little, beautiful, wow, this is what you want, you know, you had a huge run up, no one's going to take profits, nobody, come on. Everyone's taking profits, okay? And now people are looking for bargains. And let me show you. Up here, people are looking for bargains and movers. Apple down, okay, you know, overinflated. You know, look at Tesla. People are running it up on nothing, you know, just hype. 
and people have been trained tests on height nothing you know they get a missile uh, a missile a rocket up in space uh, the spacex crap blah 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 great but it's not spacex it's a separate company <laughs> you know and these new investors they just get like they're dumbfounded you know they're just like oh. they, they don't know what happened you know and they just buy tesla tesla sales could only do like what 500,000 cars this year you know i mean the cap too what they could do and corona probably messed that up a little bit so you know great stock you know it's going to move with the markets right now you got people coming out coming out scared money people bought higher so 340 you know it's looking good you know it is looking good you know i'll probably be going in maybe today see if i can get a little bounce for tomorrow see where she falls but I am watching, you know, I might buy a couple of shares and yeah, see what happens, you know. Goes down, it goes down, you know. It's not going to be a large part of the portfolio. So, you know, and I have a lot of these others that have been breaking out. I got in at the right time again on certain stocks. And, you know, these are what I trade. I'll add some new ones here and there. And, uh, well, all right. So it's about 2.41, so thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you liked it. Thanks for, again. Maybe if you like it, let me know. Maybe I'll start some videos up again. I don't know if I'll be doing them daily. Maybe I could do them, hmm, I don't know, weekly or something. You know, hey, we'll see how it goes, you know. But put this out there for everybody. Enjoy it. Uh, market's going to close in about 1 hour and 18 minutes. So enjoy. I hope you had a great summer, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I love it. If you're watching it, like it, you know, and uh, let's make money. It's going to be a great fall, people.